Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Retrospect. We're so happy that you can be here with us tonight during these very complicated times. We've had a lot of support to make this opportunity for creativity and friendship and expression um, manifest. I'd like to thank uh, Lawson's Finest Liquids for their vote of confidence in us to protect contracting and Burlington City Arts for believing in the project all along. And in Tandem Arts, my organization, I'm Trish Denton, the producing artistic director of In Tandem, collaborated with BCA to create this venue. So we're premiering the venue as well, which is awesome. Um, what can I say? This has been quite the journey, navigating the red tape that comes along with creating a performance piece um, during a time when our industry has completely collapsed. There's many barriers um, and the threat of harm behind us. And so it's been a very magical gift to participate in the deep dialogue that was required to do this safely and to really take care of one another. And so that uh, theme of support and taking care and standing by one another is really what drove this project, and you'll see that threaded throughout the next 90 minutes. Without further ado, I present to you Retrospect. very ancient and very stuck habitual patterns of mind requires that we begin to turn around some of our most basic assumptions. Believing in a solid separate self, continuing to seek pleasure and avoid pain, thinking someone else is to blame for our pain. One has to get totally fed up with this way of thinking one has to give up hope that this way of thinking will bring us satisfaction. Suffering begins to dissolve when we can question the belief or the hope that there's anywhere to hide.
it's all adding up, piling up, it's all piling up, piling up, it's all getting stuck, getting stuck, I've had just enough, adding up, it's all adding up, piling up, it's all piling up, piling up, it's all getting stuck. Honey, I feel like trash. Don't think we're gonna lie. Tell me who let this pass for so long. Don't think we're gonna last. Adding up, it's all adding up. Piling up, it's all piling up. Piling up, it's all getting stuck. Getting stuck, I've had just enough. Adding up, it's all adding up. Piling up, it's all piling up. Piling up, it's all getting stuck Honey, I feel like trash Don't think we're gonna last Tell me who let this pass For so long Don't think we're gonna last Do you mean you didn't foresee this? I don't believe you couldn't have dreamed that A runaway train with nobody to blame Don't look the other way It's already too late, it's already too late Honey, I feel like trash Don't think we Tell me who let this pass for so long. Don't think we're gonna, we're gonna last. Honey, I feel like trash. Ooh, don't think we're gonna last. Tell me who let this pass for so long. We think that by protecting ourselves from suffering, we are being kind to ourselves. The truth is, we only become more fearful, more hardened, and more alienated. We experience ourselves as being separate from the whole. The separateness becomes like a prison for us, a prison that restricts us to our personal hopes and fears into caring only for the people nearest to us. Curiously enough, if we try to shield ourselves from discomfort, we suffer. Could you forget? Don't. 
tough for you to hear the truth I know you'd rather be lied to But wait before we hang up the phone Say it because I need to know Will you surrender? Are you gonna make me wait on this line forever? Cause I don't want to fight Can we get this right? should be City down to the valley of oh, oh, 
Kim and other Earthlings, thank you for stepping into our dream with us. We hope that this inspires you to open your heart, and we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what your dreams are for the future, the world you'd like to see. I don't want to be in a world like this. I don't want to be in a world like this. I don't want to be in a world like this. So I'm on the road. Yeah, I go down to the water, rest my head. I go down to the I go down to the water to clear my mind. I go down to the water, let it all pass by. I go down to the water to watch the birds. I go down to the water to dwell on words. I go down to the water to watch them fly. I go down to the water.
those little girls with nappy hair who know too well the heat of the hot comb and the slow burn of the relaxer. To those young women who are too dark for the foundation and the makeup aisle and too melanated for the nude stockings in the department store. To my brothers, sisters, and siblings living through pain and anxiety and do not get a break from white supremacy. To those struggling to thrive in a world that puts money, profit, and greed before life, liberty, and equality. To those who put their lives on the line and will not rest until there is justice for all. We will not be silent. We can only rise. In our precious and shared humanity, we rise. a kind of testing and also a kind of healing. We think that the point is to pass the test or to overcome the problem. But the truth is that things don't really get solved. They come together and they fall apart again. It's just like that. The healing comes from letting there be room for all of this to happen. Room for grief, for relief, for misery, for joy. That was our first act. We're going to invite everyone to take Kat up on her invitation and give us a sense of what your future visions are. If you go behind the building, you'll find conversations from the open road who are happy to talk with you and project on the screen a three-minute story or just your thoughts on some future visions. 
We'll be back with you in about 20 minutes. Have a wonderful intermission. vision for a better world is there is, uh, there is peace and everyone has food at their table and everyone gets the, just, the justice they deserve. <laughs> My vision for the future is to see more females in positions of leadership. What's your name? Tim. So my buddy Tim here had the exact same uh, thing that I would like to see. Um, I think we see a lot of the dark things that are happening in the world right now. And I think one of the dividing factors is that there's a lot of men leading these movements and I think um, we would have a lot more compassion for other individuals and the citizens of our community if we had more women uh, leading the way that's kind of a uh, compassion goes along with the character. Thanks so much. I'm Allie. I would like to envision the next 20 years people having the ability to put themselves in other people's shoes. I think that's a really big thing for human beings to do because nobody chooses where they are on a single day. Nobody chooses their mood that they wake up to, but they do choose how to carry out through the day. They choose how to treat others. They choose to be understanding of Maybe that person was mean to me right now because they had a really bad morning or they just went through something. So the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes is something that I think everyone should work towards doing every day. Be understanding, be loving, choose to be understanding. Don't choose to be defensive or put up a front. Choose to just understand that someone's having a bad day. That's awesome. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, so everything everybody else said, um, definitely top on my list. But for me personally, um, seeing all the injustices of the world lately, uh, making sure that the folks who do egregious acts um, actually get called out for it and or pay, <laughs> or actually get, get justice. You know, I feel there's so many people that have things done to them like Breonna Taylor, and uh, there's been nothing that we know of that's actually happening. So I would just, I would love to see more justice served. <laughs>
Sweet. Hey, my name's Maria, and I am planting seeds in my heart for a future where everyone can feel safe to be who they are and completely express themselves without fear. I'm imagining a future where all children are safe and held so that they can remember their true essence of love and creativity and healing as we continue to dismantle and rebuild and heal generational trauma together through art, through authenticity, open hearts and sharing and making creations like this that help each other to think critically and creatively. This love at the center. I want to live in a world where in the future, white supremacy and patriarchy are a thing of the past. Um, a world where we value the safety and the health of black people, of indigenous people, people of color. Um, and also a world where humans realize that they're part of nature um, and that makes sense to everyone and is at the forefront of our values. <laughs> Hi, I, I am Mackenzie. I hope to see a future where communities can work together and help each other grow and support each other and be sustainable. And I so hope to see a government one day that backs that as well and backs a future where everyone can be loved and accepted and be who they are and feed themselves and feed their neighbors and their friends and their family. And I just pray that all of our positive energy can go towards a future where we see that, especially in power. All right, let me tell you something. <laughs> the world that I really want to see for us is a world that we're taking care of. A world that all the lands are being taken care of, where they're being preserved, where the people that live on those lands are being taken care of, where schools are learning about composting and recycling and all those good things because this is our home. So if we want to live in a beautiful world, we have to keep this world safe and beautiful and preserve all that it is, the national parks, everything. But this land is our land and we have to make sure that we do our best to do our part to keep it that way and keep it beautiful. <laughs> I just want to live in a world where people have the courage to really see each other, to look in each other's eyes, to wave when they drive past each other, to say hello to your neighbor, to say hello to a stranger, or not say hello, show up as you are, but have the courage to really see each other. Go ahead. Um, I really hope and envision a world where men can heal and that the male paradigm can shift where men feel free to be authentic, feel their feelings, uh, be emotionally intelligent, um, not fall victim 
to this role of protection and aggression and, and all of this that happened, but where men can be authentic and sensitive and emotional and whoever and whatever they are, but a world where men can be. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hope. Um, I want to live in a world where everyone, everyone understands and values the power of the individual and recognizes that, you know, communities thrive together and that the whole is made up by its parts and that we are not going to, you know, get anywhere and achieve what we want to achieve if we act alone, if we act as one. We really need to bring it together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, everyone. Um, this is from my eight-year-old friend, Ruby. She says, I wish for a future where everybody actually is good to each other and themselves are all equal and a place where everybody is treated with kindness and a place where we take care of our earth and we take care of each other. Thanks. Moonmarked and touched by some, my magic is unwritten. But when the sea turns back, it will leave my shape behind. I seek no favor, untouched by blood, unrelenting as the curse of love, permanent as my errors or my pride. I do not mix love with pity, nor hate with scorn. And if you would know me, look into the entrails of Uranus where the restless oceans pound. I do not dwell within my birth, nor my divinities, who am ageless and half grown and still seeking my sisters in Dahomey. Witches wear me inside their coiled cloths as our mothers did, mourning. I have been woman for a long time. Beware my smile. I am treacherous with old magic and the noon's new fury and all your wide futures spoken. I am woman and not white. Thank you.
Dear Stephanie, I 
I'm writing this letter from a place that you've never been. But I am there with you. Like looking into a mirror, I see your sweet, expressive, receptive, beautiful face. I hope you feel beautiful in this moment because I know that your black joy is shining and it will change the world. The way you shine when you dance, I miss you. I miss that. And I wish these bones could leap and twirl and twist and bend like they used to. In retrospect, I sit with gratitude. Thank you. Because your generation was so motivated by compassion to lay down the burdens of division, I will rest as an old woman in my time. I am full of gratitude because even in the darkest of nights, you maintained your beliefs in yourself, in the movement, in love, despite the uncertainty, despite the heavy, heavy darkness. I know it's hard to maintain well-being and a sound spirit where there is hate, violence, brutality, the execution of innocent children on their way home to the store, the unjust imprisonment, imprisonment of their fathers, all the fear one feels at this disrespect for life and the anxious thoughts that course through our black bodies. But you did not let that, you, let that let you down and you did not let those anxious thoughts shut you down. You let them stir you to act, to move, to sing, to dance. Those of us here Oh, you a great debt, Miss Wilson. As you know, it's just you're on in three. Oh, thank you, three. I 
promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise to use my power. Oh, to use my power for God. Set up right
Aster, nasturtium, delphinium. We thought fingers in dirt meant it was our dirt. Learning names and heat and the elements classical philosophers said could change us. Stargazer. Foxglove. Summer seemed to bloom against the will of the sun, which news reports claimed flamed hotter on this planet than when our dead fathers wiped the sweat from their necks. Cosmos. Baby's breath. Men like me and my brothers filmed what we planted for proof we existed before. Too late. Sped up the video to see blossoms brought in seconds, colors you'd expect to see in poems where the world ends. Everything cut down. John Crawford. Eric Garner. Mike, Mike Brown. Brown.
as you know, despite coming from a loving family and a sense of community, their love cannot protect me from the crushing oppression waiting just outside that circle. And how that oppression seemed to seep into those safe places has always been a source of confusion. But forgiveness can be a powerful remedy. And friendship is the strongest of allies. So I write to you to remind you not to let, let hate creep in, not to be preoccupied with the mistakes of others, not to get hung up on your own mistakes. How do we break these impossible patterns? You already know, but I know, don't you? You must cultivate compassion, empathy, and most of all, love. Remember those devoid of power to forgive are devoid of the power to love. You have to believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. Without this belief, without this commitment, it could take a whole lifetime to understand what real love is, a whole life to finally understand how love works. Around your age, I asked myself, do you want to wait that long? What pattern has a hold on you, Stephanie? Generational trauma winding through your DNA? Scars on the back of your soul? Break the pattern, forgive, and in time, trust me, trust me, you will begin to feel the generational strength, divine power, and riot within that will propel, propel you into your true fate. In your deserved future. Love fiercely, Stephanie. Find those that are committed to the good, those who have made the same commitment as you. Are they already with you? You know the ones, those that feel a moral obligation to stand up, speak up, and speak out. Those that say something and name it when something is not right. And not just those that speak out about injustice, but those who do something about it. Be sure to be present with those friends. Be present and together you will move towards a future where peace has finally triumphed over violence, aggression, and war. I know this to be true and I hope that you can be present now. Everybody's got a gun They've got a saw linked and traced Everybody's on the run No one looks me in the face We turned into a big machine We kill everything in our way When someone has a hard time We don't even know what to say we're all just in various phases of falling apart, falling apart. We're all just in various phases of falling apart, and it's hard. If you need me, then I'll agree, I'll agree to be there for you. If you need me, then I'll agree, I'll agree to be there for you. Everybody's 
has lost their mind Nobody takes their time Push reality away The truth doesn't see light of day It turned into a big disease Exploded with factories We've ruined everything we've dreamed But still don't believe We're all just in various phases Of falling apart Falling apart We're all just in various phases Of falling apart And it's hard If you need me Then I'll agree I'll agree If you need me, then I'll agree If you need me, I'll be there for you If you need me, then I'll agree I'll agree to be there for you Oh, 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 I'm on Just need a minute. I know this to be true, and I hope that you can be present now. Let me worry about the future and anticipate your troubles. Your task is to form one game to the next. Hmm. Your task is to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly for the moment, for the benefit of us here now. I remember rushing from one game to the next, racing through each moment as if time were infinite, too caught up in the day-to-day -to, -day to be present with a friend or take time for yourself. When we fail to appreciate those tiny moments, we forget the importance of the small things. The roses, the peonies, lilacs, purple iris. Remember, you are enough just being you and nothing more. Like one glittering star in the night sky, you are a keeper of a story that is on a continuum a continuum of infinite, tiny, equally crucial and precious stories that create our reality, that realize our future. How do I know? I am your future. Now is your story. Yours truly, Stephanie, 10th day of December, 2081.
A.D. Because 